If you want to make a report, send it to upper management, you can do that. There's your shots. I'm going to go in here to my layers manager, or I call it the layers manager. I'm going to turn some of this stuff off like that, that. Turn off my DXF. Basically where it's nothing but our, uh, it's a check in point I did earlier on the nail. Our topo. So what we're going to do, I like to hit this little I button right down here at the bottom. It's not the name for it, but it's what I call it. Uh, map view options, surface triangles, surface shading. Your triangles are your triangles. I mean, you usually don't want to look at those, but they can be helpful um, in in combination with the shading particularly. Here's why I say that. Right now we're in plan view, so if I swap around here, we're just looking around in plan view. Um, but you can go into 3D here and look at your topo and see if it actually looks like uh, it should. I did a pretty crappy job a minute ago and didn't really topo it the way that I should have, but you can uh, look at it. This icon software shades this map to where it really uh, will allow you to identify if uh, the volume that you're about to get is uh, really, you know, basically if you mapped everything and it generated your triface mesh the way that it should have. That's a pretty crappy one. I can, I can add brake lines in here if I want to, but anyhow, we ain't doing that. We're going to go back to plan view here click on it toolbox calculate volume we'll just do a stockpile you can put in your shrink swell factor there if you want to it says 1280 shows you some other values here your parameter around it highest elevation lowest balance site we'll go ahead and check go ahead and hit check we'll just call it a pile one real professional and uh, what we'll do, we'll go home and we'll make a uh, report here. So job file, that's what we're at. HTML, anybody can look at it. I don't really care about the layout. I got a little company logo there, pretty cool. We'll click on volumes. You can critique this however you see fit. You can break every one of these things down to where you can show as much information or as little as you, uh, you want to. Of course, I got it lit up with everything. We're gonna pick pile one. And um, there you go. Makes a report. You can send it off if you want to to your, uh, well, you can export it to the cloud, to Connex if you want to. Um, if you want to actually see that file and what it looks like, we'll go ahead into File Explorer here. We'll go into Projects and Forest Glen, and we'll go to Reports. And we'll go to pile one right there. There it is. We'll go ahead and click on it. It'll pull it up. I don't care about that. Pretty handy. It's a professional looking document here. So you can put your address up here, your logo. If you're needing to send this out for billing and, you know, you don't want so much uh, lag and, uh, you know, your field work and actually getting paid for it, um, you can spit these reports out and send them on to your... Uh, you know, the respective uh, people. Um, there it is, 12.80 right there. Swell factor is basically a one-to-one, -one, so there's nothing. Um, pretty good stuff. Uh, hope that uh, helps you out.